Okay guys, so as I previously mentioned in my this is not good video, I was having some issues with my discus and I decided to start medicating my 125 gallon tank with some Melifix and Primafix. I was told that these two would go great together and can treat whatever infections, fungi and parasite, but this ended up happening. Uh, my angelfish eyes ended up going blue and a lot of the fish started acting strange and I don't think they had a good reaction with the medication so I started freaking out a little bit and I didn't want to lose them so I just went ahead and threw them in the 29 gallon tank with the silver and blushing pair and as of right now they're not doing so good um, as you can see my one of my discus is pooping out white stuff but from what I've read online this usually means that the discus is just really stressed out or that they're having like digestive issues. Um, so it's not like a, it could be a parasite or you know whatnot, but you know, I medicated the tank and I don't know, I'm just really worried about this discus, but I think I just need to give it some time and hopefully the discus will get better. But you know, anytime that I see that there's an issue going on with my fish, if it's an emergency, I'll move them to another tank as quickly as possible. Um, if it's not so much of an emergency, if it's, you know, something that's urgent, then what the first thing that I do is um, I'll do a water change. And that's the first thing that you should do as well. Because water change can help, you know, sicknesses and illnesses in your fish um, most of the time. But, you know, I wasn't too worried, but at the same time, they were still not eating, and the angelfish were doing okay. The parent were doing 100%, but red, the koi angelfish that you see right now, was not doing so good. And uh, Cheddar Bob, which you probably won't see in this clip, because um, I didn't get footage of him, but he, he was not doing so well either. Um, none, nobody was eating except the pair, and... I was just kind of worried about it and I was kind of stressed out because, you know, I had just got these fish and I'm already having issues. But nonetheless, um, I decided to go ahead and do, oh, there's Cheddar Bob. <laughs> I went ahead and decided to do a water change um, because, you know, in the past, this is what I've done for my angelfish. Um, water change can remove, you know, ammonia, nitrates, nitrites. Um, it can help with any parasites and you know at first you know I kind of lost all hope and uh, I was like man this water's, water change is not going to do anything I don't know um, I guess we'll have to see in the next update and see what happens but after I drained that water and put the new water back in I went ahead and drained out the water in a 125 gallon tank and I was like you know what I'll go ahead and set up my driftwood and I've had it soaking in my bathtub for a few days now. Um, when I first put it in there, it float, it floated a little bit, but then eventually it, it went ahead and sank to the bottom. Um, and that's why you always want to boil. I recommend that you boil your driftwood, but if it's too big, just try to soak it for like four days. Um, and that's what I did. And what I was going to do next is I was going to go ahead and move the plants around because as as of this clip right here, I had the plants pretty much spread out and they were evenly spread out from one side of the tank to the other. So my vision was I wanted to put the driftwood over to the left side because I, I had somebody in the comment section um, say that it would look better that way. and. You know, I thought about it and I was like, I think it'll look good. Um, so my mindset for the aquascape was put the majority, actually all of the plants that I have in there currently to the right side of the tank. And then I was going to put the driftwood on the left side. Now, after I had done this, I wasn't going to um, fill the tank back up with water or do anything like that. Um, I was going to just let the driftwood sit in there until I can get more plants and add some plants to the driftwood. Now moving these plants around wasn't difficult at all. Um, the plants that I've had in there weren't really rooted into the water. Um, and as you can see the crypts 
have grown just a little bit and uh, they had some pretty strong roots. You can tell when the roots are pretty strong when they're white. Um, but I just, you know, took them out and um, just moved them to the right side of the aquarium. I, I believe I had, all I had was some crypts and then I had um, Anuvius on a rock and I moved that. And this is the driftwood. Um, as you can see, um, it sank immediately, even though it's not fully submerged underwater, it still didn't float. Um, and getting it in there was a pain, but as soon as I put it in there, I ran into an issue. It was sticking out of the aquarium, and this is not good for my aquarium because my aquarium has glass lids. So if I didn't do something about that, then I won't. I I was not going to be able to put my glass lids and on top of the driftwood so what I ended up having to do was I had to break that piece off and I did it with a hammer um, because I'm a moron I guess <laughs> and you know I just improvised but you know there's definitely better ways to remove pieces of driftwood and so that's what I did and I got rid of that piece I mean it took a few swings and um, I managed to put it I managed to break it off and uh, if you guys stay tuned for the next video, you guys can see an update.